All right, Zach, let's take a look at your paper. Emily format first. This looks good. All this looks good except the 10th of February is when it was due. Um, a guide to total domination could be nearly anything uh, and much more creative to your topic. For an eight-page paper, I am seven-page paper. I am shocked that this is how long your introduction is, uh, but it makes sense because you start right into the um, topic of the paper basically um, and then you say uh, teamwork is also a key factor so this is essentially your first main point this is your second main point is what you're trying to tell me and then you have your thesis statement here um, game sense and teamwork does this now here's the problem after I've looked down at your paper a little bit. Number one, you need a much better attention getter to kind of get us into this paper. Number two, your paragraphs are broken into one, two, three, four, five, so I guess it's just four um, body paragraphs, uh, but you only call out you only you only say there's two there's teamwork and there's game sense which here's the problem that I'm eventually getting to here Zach I mean the ultimate problem is that your main your body paragraphs aren't organized right they aren't organized into step number one do this step number two do this um, I feel like I'm just reading a literal play-by-play -play of every single thing that's going to happen in the game um, and really step number one you know it should be like step number one buy the right items step number two have the right position step number three um, <clears throat> I don't even know and and I you know I'm not sure what the you know third or fourth or whatever main point was but eventually you get down here and, and you do transition so here's your transition statement and then you get into you know how to play on the terrorist side um, at the eventually and again you do have a transition you should now determine what default strategies you'll play and how you improve them um, and then you can talk about this where default strategies come into play um, so you do have some organization but I just don't get a sense yet of what it is um, as I'm looking at this entire long paper so as I go through your paper, Zach, don't be, I'm not going to maybe go through every single thing. That kind of was my overarching statement about, I just feel like it needs to be organized better. It needs to be broken up into literal steps that I need to take. And then you can explain some of the game as you take those steps. I think what you lose when you write your paper like this is you lose a lot of your voice. Um, you know, Everything is very literal and matter of fact um, as you write it. Um, you know, I don't. There's not a whole lot in, in here um, that it, that senses that you are excited about telling me about this topic. Um, so, anyways, as I go through here, I'm gonna, like I said, I'll read every paragraph and we'll talk a little bit about it. But that's kind of my overarching theme as we move forward. All right, one thing that I do want to bring up that I saw a lot in your uh, paper, your first body paragraph, uh, watch for comma conjunction errors. Um, only five seconds with the defuse kit is not a complete on its own sentence, so you don't need uh, that comma there. Um, there's a couple more up here, uh, like another one right here. Just because you have a conjunction doesn't mean you need a comma, um, so be careful of that. Um, you know, this would be a, a colon. Uh, to introduce this list, if you will. Um, but again, th this is just like how to start the game and what you should do and not necessarily a clear step. Um, at the end, that you do talk about the angles you hold on to the sites, and then you get into this. But again, it goes keeps going on to um, what exactly is um, a, a literal play-by-play. -play. There's another comma conjunction error here. Um, so anyways... Um. Oh, I'm sorry. That is not the other two. Will watch long. I I was thinking that this was something else. Yes, that's correct. Sorry, Zach. Um. 
so now you're going to talk about watching long. Um, I mean, you do use some some you know established vernacular of it, choke point, the incin. Oh, what was it? Some one of the bombs you use quite a bit. You talk about one of the bombs later on. Um, you know, you do talk about advantages and disadvantages. You do use the word. You know, the pronoun you was used wisely. Uh, but again, this whole thing is just like a play-by-play -play of what everything you should do. Um, you know, when we go back to our thesis statement, um, by using game sense and teamwork, um, you'll be able to vanquish the enemy. Um, I think communication is one of your... I feel like you've talked a lot about communication in your paper. Like, that would be one of your um, main points, that you have to be a good communicator. You know, and then you could your your sub points, your support would be okay. You have to communicate at this part of the game. You have to communicate at this part of the game. Um, and I don't feel bad that you're not explaining every single thing, because that's what happens sometimes. People are like, well, if I tell them this, then they won't know. You know, they won't know what's going on. Well, you have to assume that the people playing it either have a little bit of knowledge or are gonna figure it out um, in the long run. So. Uh, you do have good transition statements. I won't fault you for that. Like I said, um, it's just that organization uh, that we need to work on. Things like finally, comma. Um, you, you don't usually have too bad of a uh, set problem with sentence structure as far as um, having run-ons or, or fragments. It feels like all the sentences are uh, complete sentences. Um, like I said, just watch out for the comma conjunction. Here's another one. Uh, this is not a complete sentence, so you don't need a comma there. Um, something like that you need to work on. All right, so the uh, conclusion really needs to be the following order. Repeat your thesis, summarize your main points, and then and each of your main points gets a sentence, and then have a, a clincher. You do have your thesis, but this is basically it right here, so it's not first. Um, you have your main points, which is basically this, but it comes before your thesis, and it doesn't have a sentence of summary um, overall. You do talk about these things, but that's not; these aren't really your main points. And again, you have comma conjunction errors in here. Um, this this ending part actually bugs me a little bit, Zach. Um, it's simply a game designed to entertain, is not to be treated with immense seriousness. Really? Have you watched people play this game? Have you been online to watch people? I mean, and listen to people? Um, this is very serious business to some people. Um, and especially you that went into that much detail, you don't think it's serious? Uh, I don't know, that just, I don't feel like it fit with the rest of the paper. Again, comma conjunction error. I feel like that clincher though, Zach, needs work. Your date, sorry, the date should never go after the um, the actual site itself, so you want to fix all those dates too. Uh, make sure you use all your in-text citations. Um, I think you did. Uh, make sure they're in alphabetical order as well. Um, okay. All right, Zach. I, I remember looking at this one. We did talk. I know we talked about this in class. I probably had some reservations in class, and after reading it, I still have lots of reservations. I think it really needs to be a step-by-step, -step, no matter which side of the half you're on, uh, or which half that you're on. You still need some very solid steps instead of just, okay, let me spend two and a half pages talking about step-by-step -step what to do, and then the other two and a half talking about the other step. I just think it really needs to be organized a little bit better. So good luck. Hopefully it turns out well for you after a rewrite.